Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I got my 288 clone here. Um, subscriber, uh, Chad Medor, uh, was asking me uh, how many drive links his chain was. Because he wants to run the setup with one of these partner bars too. Um, these partner bars you can pick up for like $13 Canadian on uh, eBay. They're only 15 inch bars, roller nose, but roller nose are kind of cool. And I think chainsaw or chainsaw with an R at the end. I think they're in Vermont or something. They sell these and they say 56 drive wings for a seven pin or uh, 58 for eight or nine. I've never seen a nine pin three eights. We're gonna see how many drive wings this is. This is Twenty-nine. Yeah, so that'd be this is fifty drivers. So we're gonna put a eight pin or ten pin two uh, ten pin rim on here. Right now there's an eight pin. Uh, I'm hoping this has enough torque. I mean the. the if you know, you know, um, the thing is, when you're putting a bigger rim on, you, you're more likely to derail the chain, which hopefully that does not happen, because no one likes it when that kind of crap happens. And this saw has a butt ton of compression now that I uh, made a big ass pop up for it and support it. Not, nothing crazy. Okay, so spark plug out of there, get the clutch off. Clutch was off not too long ago, so it's not be a complete pain in the ass to get off. Okay. I didn't do any machining to the cylinder, I left that as is. Um, but I made such a pop up I had to use the uh, Copper Crush washer, otherwise, this was hitting the spark plug. This was the gas. This is my handy dandy piston stop. Um, put through that closer to top dead center because I've had this where it's not paying attention and the cord actually goes through the exhaust hole and if you've had that happen, you know how that can be a pain in the ass. I don't want a pain in the ass today. It's Wednesday, it's rainy outside again, it's windy. That's how our, it's not summer yet, but that's how the spring's been. It's just windy and wet. I'm kind of sick of it. But what can you do? Okay, I want this to be up to. Okay, there we go. So this was off not too long ago, so this will be nice and easy. I'm really hoping because I need a short bar, uh, this thing because of the extra compression, she's got lots of torque. Okay, so we take the heat pin off. It's a steel heat pin. Uh, so we're safe right up there, and then I ordered a two pack of these 10 pin rims. Wish they had nines because the nine would be a good compromise, I think. But I've never actually seen a nine. I've got a nine pin 325 for a large spline, but that's about it. Oh, that's a big rim. <laughs> I'm sure I had this set up on my John's Red 930, so I'm just hoping this will work. Oh, that thing looks massive, eh? Wow. Three, it's ten. Okay, so put that down. Come off there. It's messed in with oil pump. And then slap this thing back on there. I'm not taking the recoil off, so if you're tightening one of these up with the recoil, Actually, 
you're tightening these up, you're actually eventually going to start working against the poles on the starter. You know what I mean? You don't want to wreck the starter. I suppose you don't want to wreck the starter on one of these cells. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's on there. Okay, get the bar back on. Partner bar. Wipe down first. Okay, so first I better drive that adjuster in all the way because it's going to make quite a difference having that uh, big old temp in there. And see, the one thing weird about the. Pretty Chinese garbage. Say that. Um, Chester Ken just wants to keep threading salt out instead of doing what's supposed to do. Chinese soft problems. Oh, I see why the E clips actually E clips come off. Back on. Uh, Eclip should be at the front, I think. So we're going to pop this Eclip back on because that's going to be annoying if I don't. It was never on. Who knows? Who knows what happens when China stays in China? Oh, it's, it's almost like it's too big for it. Which again would not surprise me at all. Squish it a bit. There we go. Squish the clip a bit. As you can see me what I'm doing, kind of sort of. Not really. That's okay. spring in this uh, e-clip. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be some spring in them, but what do I know? Just the guy with chainsaw. Guy with a ton of chainsaws. That e-clip is not... Yeah, maybe it'll stay on there. I don't have high hopes though. Okay, it goes up like that. Okay, now to the meat and potatoes of the issue. Partner bar on. That hole. So the chain's gonna go on. If I can find the chain, because you know, I lose stuff all the time. There we go, there's the chain. Yeah, this is 58 drive links of steel RS. I think it's 058 gauge. Tight, but it's going to go. There we go. So that's with 58 drive links. It does worry me. This, this thing very it's possible it might derail, but hopefully not. Half as tightened up. But yeah, so this is with 58 drive links. On these partner bars. I know a lot of people are buying these. Um, I actually wouldn't mind setting one of these up with a 325 chain. That's a good thing about roller noses because you've got no sprocket there, so you can just do whatever. Okay, let's get this guy back on. Spark plug nuts, which I did something with. Oh, the spark plug nuts, Jesus. Okay, no, it's been a rough day. It's been a rough day. This time next week, we'll be on the road to Tazapalooza. That's kind of awesome. So, yeah, he was asking, Chad was asking me about this two nights ago, and I was going to make a video yesterday, but yesterday went kind of sideways. Didn't feel like doing nothing. That happens. 
Sometimes you just need downtime. Had some wicked ass thunderstorms last night too. So yeah, uh, with the 58 drive link chain, Chad, no problems whatsoever. Sometimes find the Chinese rims to be a little uh, rough. I, I don't know what else to say about them, but they're just you know rough. Okay, so that's all set to go. So yeah, if you have one of these ten pin rim, I mean a fifty nine would work too, but I mean fifty eight seems to be fine. I mean this might have been harder to get on because this chain has seen some cuts, so it's probably past its initial break and stretch. It is what it is. To clean all my saws before I take them to Tazabalooza, I think. So I don't look like an animal. Anyways, that's it for that video. That's just, uh, yeah. You got one of these partner bars, 10 pin rim, 58 drive links, a, a steel RS or whatever chain you like. 058 gauge, I believe these are. Uh, anyways, that's it. Bye.